You are a product of this community. You grew up here, you went to school here? Yes, actually I did. Down the street about a block or two, Dwight Middle School, uh, I was a student. Actually, it was called South Sand Junior High at the time. Uh, it was the only middle school in South Sand. Juan Elias returned to teach at South Sand ISD after ending his military career. He wishes others would consider returning to their roots. To me, that, that's like a responsibility because, I mean, you got your education, you, you became successful. Why not share that with somebody that needs that little extra support and help? It's the inspiration behind the nonprofit Building a Purpose, started by Jesus Rendon, a South Sun ISD 2010 grad. They connect current students with professionals across the country. Most humans live life by default. And if the default in that community isn't the best, the outcome's not going to be the best. South Sun ISD got a C accountability rating by the Texas Education Agency in 2022. With just over 7,000 students, about 81% are considered high risk of dropping out. The district has seen eight superintendents in 13 years. One of those former superintendents is now a TEA-appointed conservator to oversee the board's actions. But Rendon and his board are solely focused on kids. I've always believed it doesn't matter what is happening at any layer of politics, from the school board to the president of the United States, it's always left and right. And if you really want to fix that problem, you go work directly with the people you're serving. What are the challenges in this community? I think uh, sometimes uh, the students are dealing with a lot of things in their personal lives. Uh, the, the family uh, situation sometimes is not ideal. A 2019 study found families in this area, zip code 78211, face greater struggles in education, employment, and health care than most other impoverished communities. And in a full circle moment, Elias was once Rendon's teacher. They're now partners in pushing their community forward. We're standing in our new building we're about to move into and uh, start supporting the kids in the Quintana neighborhood. Using an old post office as a new base, building a purpose is bringing people together, connecting students with opportunities and positive voices from around the world.